Hi, my name is Dwayne Dr. Brock Johnson, and I'm excited to present to you BenQ's Interactive Flat Panels. Here at BenQ, we actually patent our Interactive Flat Panels around three following tenets. Simplicity, safety, and security. In case you've never seen any of our Interactive Flat Panels, there's nothing like it in the industry, because first and foremost, it's tough. But don't try this on your Interactive Flat Panels from competitors. We actually have a 7H technology with built-in nano ionic silver coating, also known as germ resistant or antibacterial coating, that kills the germs on contact. So not only are you looking at an extremely durable screen, but germ resistant. On top of that, we have, of course, the anti-glare uh, with built-in carbon uh, dioxide detectors. Uh, and not, not to mention, we also have the built-in microphones located on your left, as well as on your right, for recording features. And last but not least, before I go into some of the functionalities, you'll notice a highly secured feature on the bottom called the NFC card reader, which we'll go into in a few minutes that signs you into the board. Without having security access to the board, you're limited to some functionalities. For example, if you need a quick whiteboard, you can always go into the EasyWrite application. The EasyWrite application will allow you, of course, up to touches, with or without the stylus, start writing immediately. But we'll get back to easy writing in a bit. Another feature you can do is go directly into connection. You can connect using HDMI, multiple HDMI ports, VGA, as well as DP. But my favorite, of course, is casting. Unlike other casting softwares out there in the industry, through BenQ, our casting software is called InstaShare. You can cast one, two, or up to four devices at the same time and remain bi-directional. Video, audio, and touch. For example, I'm currently on a single bi-directional touch. And if I asked one of my teachers to actually cast, the great thing about this is it doesn't really matter where your desk is in proportion to the board. In fact, you can actually be on a different floor within the district or the building as long as you're connected to the network. I can leave my desk, come directly to the board, and start controlling my, de my device wirelessly. As you can see, I can control uh, two devices at the same time, if we were to cast, and I can go up to four devices simultaneously. Why is this important? This board was actually created with administrators' pain points in mind. Knowing the need for Google Chromebooks as well as Apple and MacBooks to connect directly, we have a, uh, designed this board that gives you the capability of wirelessly connecting the operating system regardless. I'm going to get out of the InstaShare for a minute and we're going to touch base with the security features. Now as far as login is concerned, there's many ways you can log in. You can log in through a QR code, you can log in through the administration code or recent. As a recent user, I can simply type in my username and password but this is a common feature that we have stepped up from. I can also log in through my QR code. Using your device, you can easily open up your phone. If you're using an iPhone, of course, you can open it up to your camera. Samsung Galaxy will, of course, open up the QR reader. And you will enter your username and password. Now, this is a process you would use if you do not have an NFC card. Once you're signed in, the board will remember your background, your preferences, such as your volume. It also remembers your single sign-on to all of your cloud accounts. I'm going to get out of here one more second to show you our preferred method. And that, of course, is utilizing your NFC card. I'm going to log in now using my BenQ NFC card. And as you can see, it provides simplicity. The fantastic thing about this is, regardless of where you are in the district, you can go from classroom to classroom without ever using your computer ever again. Why? Because you have single sign-on access directly to your Google, your Microsoft, or your Dropbox accounts. In fact, we've also included network drives for internal uh, networks, such as Active Directory and Horizon. As you can see, I have two accounts linked to my account. I have Google Drive and Dropbox. You can identify that with the links. As you can see, I'm holding down 
on the screen with two fingers to prompt my easy right wheel at any time at any portion of the screen. This link identifies which software programs I currently have linked to my account. In fact, the cloud services will be located above. Anything directly below is what's stored directly to the board. We understand that certain schools like to keep everything on the board, uh, depending on the bandwidth situation and the infrastructure. So we provide you two different options. As far as simplicity is concerned, I can simply go to my drive and open up videos, uh, Google Slides, and information easily and effectively. In fact, I can go to my shared drive and do the same. I can transfer that information directly to my, my folder so that at any time I can bring up a video seamlessly and effectively. In your classroom and a couple of different ways. One of the biggest ways. Thank you, Interactive Live Panel. We've made writing on PDFs or, in general, Microsoft Office applications simplistic. For example, I'm going to go to my Cascade icon to open up a PDF. So as far as PDFs are concerned, we understand that writing on a page is extremely important while maintaining uh, the ink without scrolling. So I'll simply hit edit. I'll identify the RP8601K, or in fact, I might point out features. And when I'm finished writing, I'll simply hit done and go to the next page. You can repeat that step as much as possible through every application. Once again, Excel, your PowerPoint, your Microsoft Word, and of course, PDF. We're going to go right into EasyWrite. And as you can see, EasyWrite has many different ways you can access. I can touch EasyWrite on the bottom of the menu. I can actually incorporate my own customized application. But one of my favorites, directly through your passive pen, behind it is actually an NFC chip that brings you directly to your EasyWrite tool. Now that we're in EasyWrite, I want to identify some of the key features. You can save any of your lessons that you're creating here, whether you have imported it or you're actually starting from fresh in a PDF um, or JPEG, and soon to come IWD. BenQ's notebook application, also known as EasyWrite, can be easily accessed through the board several different ways. Your main menu, your shortcuts, or of course your customized icons. Once you're in here, you can actually save your documents either in JPEG or PDF format and soon to come IWB. You can share your presentations through different ways, QR code, email, as well as print. Now, if you're the type of instructor that really tells those students, pencils down, face forward, you're going to really like this feature because it enables you to share your content at the end of the class. You also have the ability to record your lesson as it progresses. This is fantastic for turnkeying or perhaps leaving your lesson behind for a substitute teacher. It records in MP4 format. And the wonderful thing about this is you do not have to stay in EasyWrite to utilize this feature. In fact, I'm going to go to my home screen, and as you can see, the recording feature is still enabled. I can easily go into Chrome and speak about my guy, LeBron James, um, and this is still being recorded. But let's go back to EasyWrite. Oh, by the way, here's another shortcut. Utilize your stylus. And at the back of it is a NFC chip. Now that we're back in EasyWrite, I'm going to start a collaboration session. I'm going to ask my students to join the class because we recently took a trip to the Statue of Liberty. The board also, at the end of the recording, will tell you the designated location in which your file was saved to. I'm starting my collaboration by inviting my class. And as you can see, a QR code has been generated for everyone that's in this class. But also, if you are a distance learner or you're a student homesick, I can send you my room ID along with a URL for you to join our session. As far as limitation, quite honestly, I haven't found one. You can have probably about 1,500 students globally log into your class at the same time. And the wonderful thing about this is, 
you do not necessarily have to be on the school's network. So now we're going to start a collaboration session. As you can see behind you, we have a QR code for all the students that are in the class. In addition to the students who are not in the class, we also have the URL as well as a room ID for my distance learning students as well as those students who are home sick. Now that the students have, who are participating are in the class, we can start the session. I have full control of everything that the students are viewing. Regardless of where they exist in the world, as long as you connect to my class, you are seeing my board because I am broadcasting. And yes, I can actually record this as well. Now that we're broadcasting, I'm going to give the students permission to write by giving them co-creation. Co-creation enables the classroom management to take effect, whereby my students, wherever you are in the world, you have permission to not only view, but write and pass on images. So, we recently visited the Statue of Liberty, so I'm going to have a collaboration session regarding this because it's content relative to the curriculum that we're teaching today. In fact, I'm going to take this image and resize it to give the students a little more room on the page. And I'm going to ask the students to actually identify some adjectives relative to the Statue of Liberty's torch. As you can see, I'm going to also ask students to use the sticky notes versus the handwriting because I really want to see exactly which students are sending information to the board. At any moment, I can actually pause this by stopping the activity. When you stop the activity on every student's device, it freezes the screen and gives them an opportunity to save that information before it's automatically deleted. We're going to proceed after the collaboration to another page by simply hitting the plus sign. Now that I'm in another page, I want to actually discuss some of the features that you see. For example, pen tool. Pen tool is pretty nice. We've actually updated our pen tools based on teachers and admins asking us for new features such as uh, colors and, and they're asking for highlighters. So that's one fantastic thing about Bank you will notice. We have 80 software programs that are constantly upgrading the existing software to make sure that your board is never antiquated but always updated. So looking at the pen tools, you have a single touch that you can also utilize with your hands. The board is so sophisticated that it'll recognize anything that touches the plane as a point will be a pen. But of course, anything that's flat, even your fist, will turn into an eraser. The same works as well with the dual mode. But since I'm talking about the dual mode, I'm actually going to go to a new page and slide over to my favorite subject, math. In the dual mode, you can actually plot planes extremely easy by choosing, for example, blue as one coordinate and yellow as another. And yes, you can write simultaneously. This enables the instructor to provide lessons that further enhance and further engages the students. It's all about increasing teacher performance and student engagement. I'm going to go to another page, as you can see. You can go to as many pages as you like and change the templates as you see fit. Because now, we're actually in gym class. We're still in EasyWrite, utilizing some of the customized templates. And by the way, since we're talking about templates, you will see some of the most popular templates in our menu, but you can always add and customize your templates as well. And yes, you can add it directly to the board, or how about directly to your Google account? So many different ways to help you maximize the use of your technology to copy and paste information, images directly into your EasyWrite notebook application. You can simply enable your EasyWrite wheel, touch the camera feature, and crop the image relative to the content that you're teaching, and press Easy. Now that we have this information incorporated directly within the template and content, I can resize this and start identifying plays which took place on the court. The tools from EasyWrite enables you to further enhance your existing lessons, which ultimately further engage the students. One of the last features I'm going to discuss in the pen tool, of course, is the paintbrush. 
the paintbrush mode is pretty interesting. It enables you, we'll go to another page. In fact, I'll change the template to a pastel color. It enables you to actually take any paintbrush and the board is so sophisticated that it actually measures the bristles of the board. You'll notice that everything is seamless and you can even do finger painting. Technology only found through Think here. We're going to go to another page, and in fact, while I'm at this slide, I just want to show you, similar to PowerPoint, we've actually made our slides easy to edit, simply by holding down and changing your sorting numbers. Now that we're at a new page, we're on page six, I'm going to go to the toolbox. In fact, before I go to the toolbox, if you haven't seen the uh, different erase tools, you'll notice that, yes, you can erase using any flat surface, but in addition to that, you can take out your eraser and change that to circle and erase, and of course, your all feature. The toolbox is fantastic because it enables you to, once again, further engage your students by bringing tools that are going to be relative to the curriculum you're teaching. Let's bring back out, for example, the graphing paper. Right here, the calculator. So whether your students are writing something on the left of the calculator and identifying, this calculator will perform tasks all the way up to calculus. I can leave the tools on the side and bring out other widgets such as my geometry tool and export my angles to once again further enhance the lesson that I'm teaching. Everything that you export, everything that you create is resizable using your tool, your select tool. Once again, going back to my toolbox, I can bring up my timer, my stopwatch. All of these tools were designed with teachers in mind. Once again, preparing for state exams and listening to the administrator's pen points. Another tool, of course, is a randomizer. The randomizer enables you to select your students without having favoritism. Randomizer works simply as this. If you have, let's say, a student population of 35, 20, 22, you can simply hit start. Understanding that the students actually know their numbers. Once their number is listed, they come to the board. So of course, we have number 17, number seven, and of course, number 22. Once you have your students at the board, a fantastic tool that you can bring up now, of course, is splitting the screen to three. And so, with this fantastic tool, you, are, you actually have the ability to take that same question, paste it to all, and have the students write simultaneously in their individual workspace. In fact, they also have the ability to write with their own color. And the beauty behind this science is, it's really no cheating. At the end of the day, you can actually have your students, when they turn to their desk, take out that iOS device once again and scan their work rather than writing down. This will save time, but also encourage the use of technology. Each individual, each individual student will have their individual QR code saved as a PDF or JPEG. We're going to step out of the triple screen for a minute because there are other fantastic tools such as your easy diagram. This is a flow chart that's normally used in corporations, but a lot of educators are utilizing this as well for flow charts. It'll help to correct your, not only your penmanship, but also correct your shapes. So whatever you create in here can be identified and of course exported. And what we've noticed is that these tools are actually utilized for screen shade and hiding the field. So a lot of different tools are being utilized within EasyWrite to help further engage the students while maintaining the existing lesson and not starting from scratch. As you can see, I'm actually going to the import tool right now. This import tool is fantastic because remember in AMS where you can access your Google Drive, your Microsoft information, your Dropbox, your Horizon for your internet, you can actually access the same information through here as well. 
So whatever cloud accounts you've linked in your AMS, you'll also notice that it's available for you in EasyWrite. So for example, I can go directly to my drive and my information is directly there, allowing me to harness the power of the EasyWrite tool. The district to manage, control, even push information directly out to all of the boards. It's a fantastic solution because it saves a lot of time for IT instructors, not having to go to individual classrooms, but to have remote access to all the boards within the district, standardizing whether it's the wallpaper or standardizing the APK or the applications that you see by grade or by school. In addition to that, the district or directors of technologies can control or schedule your boards to turn on and off at a certain time. With the purchase of a BenQ Interactive Flat Panel Bundled Solution, you never have to worry about subscriptions or renewals. In fact, we also have built-in quick support, which provides the flexibility for an instructor to access remotely your classroom to help you on the fly. In addition to the TeamViewer application, we have the device management system that enables your directors of technology as well as administrators to control, manage, as well as push content directly and specifically to your middle schools, your high schools, your elementary, or perhaps directly to a classroom in particular. For example, I may want to push a certain APK Android application lesson to all of the science classrooms, such as the heart application. Once it's pushed, it'll be in your menu, which you can easily customize and drag it right over, as I did. When you open up your application, not only will you have the content and the interactivity that comes with it, you will also have the ability to scroll through and utilize the built-in lessons. Once again, thank you. Simplicity, safety, and security.